Hey guys, welcome to the Lupus Profile. It's me, Rocky, slash Anna. I don't care what you call me as long as you remain within those two parameters, Anna or Rocky, nothing else. hospital because I was running a FEMP. I was running a temperature of 102.4 degrees Fahrenheit last Saturday and I also had a lot of chest pain so I wasn't sure where that came from. I'm still not sure where that came from but I do feel better now. Thank God. I'm still taking antibiotics. We've changed my steroid to different one that I've not been on before but hopefully those changes will help so as you could probably tell from my room it's kind of a mess right I'm just trying to be real with y'all didn't feel good I don't feel good I don't feel like cleaning up my room right now but I'm making a video just for you guys because I want to give you guys a life update I want you guys to follow I want y'all to know what's going on in my life and all that so anyway after my hospitalization they, well, during my hospitalization, I have been given a ton of IV fluids. And what a lot of you might remember from a previous video, if you don't know, I'll link it below. Um, just check out the blog, check out my YouTube channel, whatever. Um, you'll, you'll see. I don't make urine anymore. Like, I literally do not pee. Like, I go to the bathroom mostly for decoration. Whenever they give me IV fluids or if I just drink a ton of fluid, I have no way of getting rid of it because my kidneys don't work anymore so I can't pee it out. It just stays there, you know what I'm saying? I start looking like a water balloon. Like when I have fluid overload, all that water just kind of stays up top. Like my legs are skinny little toothpicks and the rest of me is just like a little, I don't know, chunky monkey uh, to take the fluid off. It, it takes a very long time, like treatment wise. So today's dialysis treatment was five and a half hours. That was so long, guys. I was so tired and I was so hungry at the end. Okay, enough of the pity party. Yeah, I just want you guys to know that, you know, you'll feel better, you'll have shorter treatments ish if you stay within your fluid restriction. I can't stress that enough guys. It wreaks havoc on your heart if you have too much fluid. And if you go to the hospital for any reason um, and they want to give you IV fluids, make sure they, they know that you're a renal patient because sometimes that kind of slips through the cracks. Renal patients can quickly get overloaded with fluid so you do not want that. If you're dehydrated and they want to give you some fluids, that's okay, just make sure again that they know you are a renal patient and you're on dialysis. So they can kind of be conscientious about how much fluid they give you. So yeah, I think that's all I have for now. Until then, I will see y'all. Good night. Bye.